I'm Kat Timp with National Review. A Michigan high school student is claiming that her teacher grabbed her in order to forcibly remove a Woman for Trump pin that she was wearing. And now the police are reportedly investigating. Sadie Eargood, a 16-year-old junior at Mason High, told Fox 47, I was just really shocked that a teacher would especially would do that. He's talking about the Women for Trump pin, and I said, that's fine. You don't have to like it. We can have our opinions. This is, of course, a developing story. If it does turn out that this is true, well, then I'd have to say that the teacher's actions wouldn't just be cruel. They'd also be incredibly ironic. As less than a mind reader, I can't know for sure the reason for this teacher's alleged anger. My logical capabilities, however, lead me to believe that he must have had a very strong disagreement with the idea that a female person should be supporting President Donald Trump. Perhaps he has, as I certainly have myself, had some issues with some of the ways that Trump has talked about women. Here's the thing, though. In what universe could he have possibly thought that he was right to treat a girl this way? Even worse, how could he have possibly thought that it was some kind of show of support for women? Make no mistake, if this teacher did what he's accused of doing, it does not make him a hero. It makes him a jerk. The bottom line, it is fine to have issues with President Trump. I've had them myself. The thing is, though, the best way to argue against the things that you disagree with is never to use abusive tactics. It's always better to treat those with whom you disagree with compassion. If not for compassion's sake, then because it makes it much more likely that they'll actually be willing to listen to what you have to say.